Okay, so let's show everybody how to take apart the boomstick for cleaning and make maintenance purposes. Starting off with loosening the head and taking the button housing off, sliding the battery out and you're left with the button mechanism. So taking the button housing apart, you would need the long nose tweezers, not pliers, long nose tweezers. You will see on the insulator ring, there's two little holes that will match up with the tweezers. You slide it in, into the holes, and just spin the button housing until everything comes loose. When you get towards the edge, just make sure that the magnets don't fly everywhere. Be careful. Put that over there and slide the whole mechanism out. So then you're left with the spring, the two magnets, and the button. Clean everything out, all you would need is a white pencil eraser and any form of a polishing cloth. So to clean the different areas, all you do is you take whatever you want to clean and rub it on the eraser. You will see the black stuff forming on the eraser showing that the stuff is coming off and just clean all the different contact areas that you want to clean. Different areas that you want to clean as well is the threads on the inside, inside of the button housing, threads over there, and you screw out the head, threads over there, threads on the inside, take the RDA off, the hybrid connection on the inside as well. All you do is you use the same eraser to get in on all the areas that you want to clean, just rub it until everything comes off. Take the same polishing cloth and wipe down all the different areas that you just used the eraser on. To clean the threading on the aluminium boomstick, all you would need are these alcohol pads. You can buy at Clicks or any other pharmacy. Take one of the alcohol pads out, wipe down all the surfaces that you want to clean. Use the same polishing cloth just to wipe all the grime and gunk and everything off. Assemble the mech again, and there you go. Then putting the boomstick back together again. So we'd start out with the button and the two magnets. Sliding the magnets over the neck, making sure that they're facing away from each other so that they're pushing each other away. Next is the spring with the skinny side showing down, the fatter side showing up. Slide it over, keeping the magnets in place, taking the insulator, and making a nice sandwich. Then you would stick your finger through the button housing, making pressure on the button as you're sliding the whole mechanism into place. Just spin it until you feel everything is out of the way and the thread is catching. And then as you spin, you will feel everything tightening down. As it gets stuck, you take your long nose tweezers again Still keeping pressure on the button, slide them into the holes and spin the whole thing down until you feel that it is tight. You will see there's not a big gap between the contact and the insulator's top. That is for a nice short throw and full contact every time you push the button. Next, you put the RDA on top of the head by screwing it in onto the hybrid connection screwing the head into the body making sure there is still a nice gap at the top sliding in your battery to see that there's still a recess between the bottom of the battery and where the button housing has to go screw the button housing on top and finger tight the head on top and there you go